Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new tool that I have been using recently, and I thought I'd tell you guys about it as well. This one is called Director AI. Director AI is by BrowserBase, which is quite a good browser sandbox API company. They also made the StageHand tool, which allowed you to do browser-based automations and stuff like that. But this Director AI is something new, and it's almost a new venture by them. Anyway, what it does is very similar to Manus or Minimax Agent or things like that. But the best part is that it is fully free. It doesn't even have a pricing page yet, which makes it pretty awesome, and that's why I'm covering it. It also doesn't seem to have any limits either. You can actually use it without any sign-up or login, so that is also great. Now, let me show you how you can use it. And as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from the other agents that I have seen. So, first of all, you get this prompt box here, where you can write down your prompts about what you want to do, and you can also add context for it here. Like, you can add web URLs that it should reference or things like that. You also get some starter prompts here for reference. You also get a sidebar where you can see and navigate back to previous sessions, as well as notifications when a task completes. Now, let me show you how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. Let me ask it to go ahead and tell me about the latest trending repos on GitHub. Now, once we do that, you'll see that it will go ahead and do some thinking and stuff. But as you can see over here, it writes code. It writes this code because it actually uses stagewise at the back end. And it basically just runs stagewise commands in order to navigate to pages and things like that. If you don't know, Stagewise is an open source library by BrowserBase that allows you to make AI agents that can navigate the web and do things like that. I already have a video on it as well. Anyway, it basically uses that. And now in a bit, you can see that it gets done. It went ahead, did a bit of navigation, and then we got the response, which is fully correct. But now comes the best part, and that is, you can take this code that it gives you here. This is basically a stagehand script that allows you to just run it, and it will do exactly the steps that it did here. This will allow you to basically make a reproducible workflow, like fetching the trending GitHub repos, which is awesome because this is something that I have really wanted. Even with the same prompt, many times the same model goes in different directions. But with this, it is mostly static and will always fetch you the best results, which is quite awesome. You can also directly clone it locally and add it to your code base with this command that you get over here as well, which is also quite good. But it is mainly related to navigating through the web instead of allowing you to create code and things like that which is something that tools like Manus and Minimax can do. This is more like an operator than the others. However, there's a way that it can actually code, which is a bit finicky, but I found it to be quite good in a sense. So, let me ask it to make me a Minesweeper game that is in the aesthetic of Apple's new liquid glass design, and then put the code in CodePen. That way, it will write the code 
and give me a link through which I can see what it did and everything. You can see that it goes ahead and starts to put the code in CodePen one by one, and in a bit, it gets done, and we can have a look at it here. This looks good, and it did the coding quite well as well, which is quite amazing. I think that it is the most accurate web navigating tool yet. It can handle inputs and everything quite well without failing, and it's super fast. It did all this within about three minutes, which means that it is very effective. You can easily take this code and make it automate repetitive tasks for you, and it mainly works with Gemini Flash, which makes it a super cheap option if you use it locally. Let me show you how you can set it up locally as well. You can just hit this command option here and then copy the command. Now, you can just go to your terminal and paste in this command, and this will just get the stage-wise thing cloned. It will ask you for the API key and stuff like that in the terminal itself, and in a bit, the project will be made, which you can just run as well, which is kind of cool. I mean, I liked it. It is quite useful, and it's free. So, there's not much to complain about here. I really liked it, and have been using it. That's why I thought to share it with you guys as well, because it has been quite good to use, and actually is amazing, and works well. You can go ahead and give this a try, and it can come in handy for some stuff. Though, it has some limitations, but it is still awesome and very fast as well. I have been using it, and it comes in handy for many things where you want to do some complex navigations. But it is not so important that you want to do it yourself. Or maybe you are just lazy, or if it is a repetitive task, then you can use this to get those things done as well. This was really good, and I thought to talk about this as well. It is one of the only agents that allows you to save a workflow and then run it locally. Most of the other ones don't allow for this. However, it does lack in some parts, like coding, and stuff isn't its strong suit unless you give it a tool or something to create files or things like that. Anyway, that's about it. You can give this a try, and maybe you'll like it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.